Hey everybody, this is another tutorial for the animal controller. Today I'm going to show you how to create a text box and display information on it using scriptable events and scriptable variables. So, as you can see here, I have a plane, I have the wolf light prefab, I have the cine machine brain camera and a free look camera state. Now, in the canvas, I have a empty image with a background and I have a text. So I'm going to use scriptable events to show and hide this text box and change the text using the same event. What we need? We need to create a scriptable event. So we go to create Marvel's animation scriptable event. Let's call this help box. Now to test this, I'm going to create an empty game object that it will show and hide the help box. Now I have a component called, let's find it in Malverse Animations, event on enable disable event that it will invoke two events when this game object is enabled and when it's disabled. So let's use this event on the on enable listener. So drag it here and we're going to invoke a bool value set to true and on disable we're going to invoke a value a bool value but set to false and we also we're going to invoke a string variable on the on enable event now let's create a string variable how can we do that we go to create malware's animation scriptable variable string variable now this is going to be a true tip and the value will be this is a Tool tip. Now going back to the show and hide help box, which is disabled, we're going to use this string value with the event. Now, in order to this text box to receive those events, we need to add an event listener that we're going to find here on Malvers events event listener. We're going to listen to the help box, and since we are using the bool invoke and the string invoke we're going to listen to the bool response and to the string response in case of the bool response we're going to show and hide this text box i have another component called here on the malverse group we're going to ui and we're going to fade in and out a graphic this will create a canvas group that we can use to fade in and out all the graphics that this image has so let's add this to the group let's set it something like 0.1 and now we're going to respond with the value that the event has so we're going to use this fading out graphic component and we're going to use this fading out method in the dynamic boolean and with the string response we're going to change the text value on the text component so let's drag the text here and we're going to go to text the dynamic value and dynamic string value not this one this one right here and this will do the work so let's try this let's go to the canvas group set the alpha to zero and if we hit play and we enable this game object it will show the text but the problem is that I set this on disabled to true. It should be set to false. So like this again. Perfect. It's showing and it's hiding the text. How can we use this in a better way? Let's create a, a cube. Set it here in 000. And let's add it here. I think I have a transparent material called the porter. Let's use this as a trigger and let's add a component called trigger proxy. This component is very useful to make quick on trigger enter on trigger exit logics that it will help us to know if something entered this trigger. In this case, we're going to use the animal layer, which the wolves is set. Let's call this a blue cube. And now if I enable the debug mode, you will see here that if I enter this cube, we are entering with the colliders, with three colliders, and 
with only a game object so you have the root of the game object and all the colliders so you will have a better way to use on trigger enter and on trigger exit logics so in this case what i'm going to do is to use this game object that i created to show the text and set it as a child of the game the blue cube and if we enter with a game object in the layer animal we're going to show this game object by setting the active to true and if we exit the trigger we're going to hide the game object by setting the active to false and let's change the string value to something like to have enter the blue cube now if i go here and enter the cube you have entered the blue cube perfect you have exit the text will be hide and just like that you have a trigger area that you can use in any room or anywhere to show and display tooltips in your game and here, for example, I want to change the tooltip to another tooltip. Let's duplicate this one and you have enter the yellow realm. And let's use this one here on the other show and high game module. And disable the debug mode. And that's it. That's how you can create text tooltips. To show, uh, I don't know, if you enter a zone and you're missing a key, you can show the text. Hope you learn something new with scriptable events and scriptable variables. And I'll see you on the next tutorial.